I'm the Hooded Lid and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to take a brand focus look at Revlon. I don't own a lot of cosmetics from the drugstore and this is primarily because honestly whenever I go into the CVS and I see everything laid out it's like it's too much. It's too much information and I think actually most of them are not laid out well so you're like what? Where is, where is this? Where is that? Where's the other thing? and it's just it's just it's too much for me but i'm going to say this a couple of years ago like five years ago when i started to get back into makeup i'm like okay i need to get some eyeshadows i picked up a couple from the drugstore which the palettes looked really nice but they were very powdery some of them became incredibly muddy and all of them kind of fell off the lids over a period of a couple of hours i wasn't deeply impressed I think the one thing that I can find with some consistency at the drugstore are foundations. I found several really nice ones and I haven't really explored all that much. So out of my short exploration, I did find a couple of really nice foundations. And I think when CVS decided to allow you to return things, it used to be in the day. In my day when I was in my 20s, for instance, you bought something at Bloomingdale's which or Bullocks, which isn't around anymore, or Macy's, and any of the department stores, you couldn't return it. So you could get home and go, wow, this is a horrible color on me, or this really doesn't perform on me, and you were stuck. And I think when Sephora came around and decided, okay, you can return things, it opened us up to buying more, taking more risks, because we knew if it didn't work, we could bring it back. And I can tell you for a fact, I am spending so much more money on cosmetics than I ever have in my life. And I think that's true of, of many of us. And I think part of that is because there are return policies. And CVS decided to do a return policy. I hope it's still applicable. Uh, where if something doesn't work, you can bring it back. Because drugstore is less expensive than brands you find at Sephora or department stores, but they're not cheap. <laughs> You know what I mean? I got a blush from Revlon for $13. I don't think that's cheap. And if you make two or three mistakes for every one that is right, you're not getting a good deal. But now that return policies are, at least at CVS, I think it's a little less risky to get into drugstore. So let's get into it. Revlon. Candid. I bought this a couple of months ago, actually, and quite liked it. And then all of a sudden a million foundations came out and I forgot that this color isn't good for me and I should have returned it. I got it at Ulta and they're good at returns, but the color is fine. It's just not, there's something a little off about it, but I really like this and it reminds me a lot of the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation, which I got after this. It just has that same kind of thickness, cushiness, and it's not drying. Really, it's quite similar. And it's nice on the skin. And easy to apply. I'm just going to take a look close up and see what's not blended. Not quite full, but I'd say a solid medium. It looks really nice on the skin, even in my 8X mirror, and applies very easily. This could actually be a great one for, I'm in a hurry, I need some real coverage, I don't have time to put on my moisturizer. If you're not terribly dry, this might actually hit that spot. Now normally I would go in with my eyeshadow, and this is what I'm going to do for the eyeshadow, but I wanted to use my fingers with that, so I'm going to do the concealer now. The concealer, we shall see. This is in the color Biscuit, and I have a feeling it's too light. And it, would, it looked like it was... The CVS I went to actually had... Um, it's so weird, there's two CVSs, one's across the street and five doors down, than from the other, and one CVS has things open for you to try, and the other one doesn't. So I don't understand the CVS policies. They are not the same. Um, 
at every store. But I will tell you this, the CVS I went to yesterday, they are redoing their makeup area and there were brands against the wall I've never seen before. I've heard other people talk about them in videos like Jonah and something else that Tati did just a few days ago, I can't remember the brand, but I had never heard of it before. So that one CVS, I don't know, maybe it's a pilot store. I don't get it. How could each store be different? I don't think they're filled. Are they affiliates? Are they? Huh, maybe they're owned by different people. Okay, so this uh, blended in well. There's nothing wrong with it. It feels nice. The test, there'll be two tests for this. Um, will it crease? Of course it will. Will it make me feel dry? That's the question. Now this foundation does feel the teeniest bit tacky. I think I might want to powder that before I go in with um, my blush, but I might not. A little powder under the eyes. And I'm not going to powder on top of my eyes because I'm going in with a cream. So these came out, I guess, a couple of years ago. This small selection of color, and this is quite dark, but it was the only thing that really interested me, <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. And I think this would be also great if you're doing a dark eye and you need a base to kind of, a deep base to start from. But we're gonna go ahead and, you know, just dab this on. I think this is a nice one and done kind of color. I'm just gonna feel around my eye socket. Dense, synthetic, semi-dense, not terribly dense, and just work on the edges. just need to clean up around the edges before this sets because I think when this sets it really sets and you're going to have a problem making changes. Kind of a one and done. All right <laughs> that's gonna be it. This is gonna be a strange video. This does have a little applicator right here. Pops out, boop boop boop, and this sponge works well. Well is it a sponge? No, it's a synthetic brush. And it does work well with this product. I just, I just prefer to apply with my fingers and blend out with that fluffier brush, but you can certainly do this if you don't want to get your fingers dirty. If you're not, if you're someone who's not comfortable using your fingers, it happens. I just want to check for tackiness before I try for blush and I am of course wearing a lot of sunscreen so I think I just want to powder before I go in with the blush. I'm not doing a full face because I don't have a bronzer. I don't even know if they have a bronzer and I don't have highlighter and I don't know if they have a highlighter either but it is what it is. So here's a little blush, and I thought the whole pan was blush, but no, they have one of these less than useful, but I guess if you're going to put this in your purse, it'll do in a pinch brushes, and it even has a mirror in it. But I would rather just have a pan and pay $8 instead of $12 for this, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. This is Naughty Nude, and I felt certain that I saw, and I don't know, this stuck in my brain. Years ago, I saw somebody say this is a great neutral and a dupe for something that was really well known, but I can't remember what it was. But of the colors there, they had colors similar to colors I already own, but I don't have a lot of nudes. And I figured, well, why buy a color like the colors I already own? Let's go for a nude and see what happens. So let's go for a nude and see what happens. Went on fine, there's no splotching, there's no pulling, there's no tugging. It's smooth. Well, I don't know, you guys. I think, just for me personally, I'm used to having a punchier color on my cheeks. 
and a color like this would be good for a nice smoky eye. But when I look in the mirror, I don't feel particularly that it's doing for me what I depend on blush to do, which is to make me look alive and bright and healthy. It's like, oh, was there something there? Mm -hmm. Put on a little more. But this is my aesthetic. That could be what the problem is. But, you know, it loads on fine. I don't feel it's skipping. I'm not having an issue. Maybe there's not a lot of payout. It seems like I got some here, though. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that's just my skin coming through the foundation. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely seeing something now. Okay. All right. It's not bad. It, and it could be a problem with the color, but I'm okay. And for lips, I already had these. I actually loved these when these first came out. It was the first time I had experienced a moussey matte. And I'm all about it because they're very, very comfortable. Just like other moussey mats, like Charlotte Tilbury does one and Burberry does one, um, they don't, they're not transfer proof. They are not long wearing, but they give you that matte look, which I really like, without drying your lips out, which I really like. And um, yeah. And these do have a scent, and I kind of like them. Okay, I've got a very neutral face going on today, which is unusual for me. I feel like this is a one-and-done eye, but it needs oh, just a little bit of something, so I'm going to cheat and use this Marc Jacobs pencil. You could use any pencil. Just want to give it a little something. And that's actually going to do it. That's all I have from this brand. Now, you know, I usually don't wear highlighter, so that's not the end of the world. The eyes are a lot more simple than I usually go for. The blush, I think it went on fine. It didn't streak. It hasn't got a scent the only thing is, I'm not really seeing much of it. Now, I did choose a color that is rather nude, and maybe that's why I'm not seeing it. So I'm kind of on the fence about this one. The concealer, I'm seeing it's still a lot of darkness. I'm not sure it's really doing anything to conceal. It's a little thick, but I'm not sure that it thick. it's opaque, if that makes sense. I mean, I get if you're thick and you're opaque, but if you're thick and you're not opaque, that's no fun. The lips I love. The eyeshadow I love. I wish they had more colors. And again, I don't think this is a product where you can put two or three together. I think this is a one and done or a base for another look on top of it. Uh, my overall look. I was thinking I'm just going to do a nice neutral face, which can be so stunning on so many people. And me, I feel very, very drab. And part of it really could be the fact that I do think this color, once it dries down, is not a good color for me, but I'm not sure why. There's just something off about the color. <sighs> so you guys, I don't want to be my first drugstore focus. I don't want to be a negative Nilly about all this. and. I'm not saying these are bad products at all. I'm saying this, I think the color is a little wrong for me and it's not really doing anything for me. I would say the coverage, once it dries down, it's not as full coverage as I first thought it was. It's more like a medium coverage. Um, this, I'm not impressed with. I might apply some more, but I just feel like it's done nothing for my darkness. It's thick, just like this, it feels just the same, but it doesn't seem to have much opacity to it. So I'm not really sure about that one. Um, these I love. Love them, they're so comfortable. They have really nice colors too. I'm really not so sure about the blush, but I don't know if it's because of the color I chose or if it's actually not a very pigmented blush. So there is my Revlon. I hope that was helpful to you. I do feel 
I don't know. I hope that was helpful to you. And um, I want to thank you for spending some time with me. And I definitely want to explore more drugstore brands. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you come again. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you a great day.